Hi, it's Alex. I'm on a roll, so I'm recording another video because I feel inspired. I want to ask the question, is it a good idea, is it a healthy way of thinking to change the way you look for another person or for other people? And my intuition is that the answer to this is no, but when I thought about it a little bit more, I realized it's a little bit more complex than that. I want to sort of talk about the no side of things first. I was at my, one of my friend's apartments the other day, and there was this old magazine from the 70s on it. And it had this big headline that got my attention. It said, Dresses for Men. And my first thought was like, oh my god, this is so awesome! Something as far back as the 70s, and they were entertaining the idea of men wearing dresses. Like, how cool is that? Because, like, it's always really bothered me that it's acceptable for women to wear pants, but it's not acceptable in our society for men to wear skirts and dresses. So I saw that, and, like, I got my hopes up, and then I started reading the text, and looking at the pictures, and it was like this sort of soul-crushing moment, when I realized that dresses for men meant that the women were wearing the dresses to attract men, or to impress men. And so, I've heard this idea discussed in feminist circles, and I think that there's a great deal of truth to it, that there's this immense pressure in our society for women to present themselves in a certain way, and the way women present themselves is kind of defined or culturally shaped around how men respond to them. And I think that that idea can be really unhealthy, and I think it can lead to women thinking that their value is dependent on how men respond to them. So that's kind of an example of the no side of things, of it not being healthy to think a lot, or think too much about, or think in certain ways about how other people perceive you. On the other hand, I think that there can be a sort of positive side of changing how you look, or choosing to present yourself a certain way, on the basis of how other people will respond. Now I could go in the direction of professionalism and business attire, and I'm not going to go down that road. That's a whole other beast. I kind of have a lot of problems with the professional expectations, uh, the expectations of professional dress in our society. I'm not going to tackle that right now. I'm going to give another example. This is something that actually has happened a lot in my life. Like, I'll have close friends, and if I'm spending a lot of time around someone, I notice certain things about them. Like, I might notice a certain pair of shoes or pair of socks that someone wears, or like a certain other article of clothing, and I might be like, oh yeah, I really love that hoodie, it's like really cute, and it's really comfy, and whatever. And like, I've had people, and they're like, oh, like, when I hang out with you, they told me this, like, oh, when I hang out with you, I like to wear this pair of socks, or I like to wear this hoodie because you've complimented me on it a lot, and it makes me think of you, and like, I appreciate the fact that you appreciate it, and so on. And I've done that for other people too, like, I know specific articles of clothing that I have that certain friends in my life really like. They're like, oh my god, like, I love that shirt, you look amazing in that shirt, and like, it's just like, I like that, I feel good about myself, and I think a key here, it's, it's something that I want to wear anyway. And in the case of other people, it's something that they were wearing anyway, multiple times. So it's not like changing yourself to fit this ideal that is pulling you away from what you really want to be doing, it's like taking something within the range of what you want to be doing and then focusing on that and sort of cultivating that a little bit more. So I think that's the first ingredient of a sort of healthier way of choosing to present yourself a certain way, or changing how you look, changing in a little bit way. It's not so much changing, but it's like focusing on one aspect of how you present yourself. I think that there's another element, though, to these sorts of interactions that make them fundamentally different from that sort of like dresses for men example that I gave before. And that is that there's this bond of personal trust with the person. And like, I'm not, I'm not 
wearing a certain shirt because I feel like there's this vague social ideal or social expectation that I should wear that shirt because it's going to attract women or something. Like maybe my friend who likes that shirt is someone that I actually find attractive. But like it's not necessarily about this like vague universal ideal. It's about this like personal connection with the person. And I think that there can also be like a cultural connection. It doesn't just have to be with one person. Like there's certain subcultures that have their own ways of dressing, and there can be like a symbolism associated with it. There can be sort of values attached to the ways of presenting yourself, whether it's how you do your hair, what kind of clothing you wear, things like that. And I think that this kind of thing can be a positive thing. Uh, if you're taking it on in a way that is like in harmony with what you want. So that's kind of like what I wanted to say on this topic. I think that it, it's not necessarily always bad to change how you look or shape how you look uh, because of other people's what other people think. But I think it's important to do it mindfully. I think it tends to be pretty damaging if you do it because of these vague social ideals that are kind of pushed on you by like Cosmo magazine and stuff like that. Uh, like those things I think can be pretty destructive. But if you're talking about like personal relationships you have with people and someone's like, hey, I really like how you look in that. And then you're like, oh, I appreciate this person and I, I appreciate that they like this thing so I'm going to wear it. And that's cool. And also if it's like this sort of subculture and you're like, hey, like there is this thing, this way of people expressing themselves, and I like it, and I like what it's about, I like the values that it connects with, then that's awesome. And I say, like, go do that. And also, like, you know, you can still reject all that. I think that it's great to just go out on a limb and be like, oh, I've never gotten any compliments on this shirt, maybe I even got insulted on it once, but I love this shirt, I'm going to friggin' wear it anyway, like, then just go do that. I think that's a really valuable thing, too. Uh, that's what I have to say right now. I hope you found this interesting. Uh, please comment if you have anything to add. And as always, I love when people share my videos and subscribe. Thank you.